Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to learn how to use the Arnold Physical Sky Shader for environment lighting. And the first thing we need to do is create our uh, Arnold Sky Dome light. And I'm going to hit the tab key and go under Arnold and create an Arnold light. Now, whenever we do this, uh, the default uh, light type is set to point and we need to change this to Sky Dome. And so far, uh, we've used the Sky Dome with a simple color, with a constant color, and we've used it with texture. And in this case, we want to uh, use our own shader, which is the physical sky shader. So I'm going to switch this, switch the color type to a shader. And by default, it has this uh, pass set. So I'm going to delete that because we want to connect our own shader. And I'm going to switch to the shop context where we're going to create the actual physical sky shader. And now if I hit the tab key and go under Arnold, you can see there is Arnold Physical Sky. I'm going to create one. And all we have to do now is connect the, uh, that shader to the light. And I'm going to browse and connect the Arnold light uh, Physical Sky. And then uh, switch to the render view and we're going to hit render. And we can see that we have now a uh, the Physical Sky shader working. And we can uh, go back to the shader and tweak the various parameters that we have here. And we should see the result um, uh, the result of the shader being updated. Now, it does not uh, do a live update. And the reason for that is because the Sky Dome has to do a pre-process to filter, to um, uh, place samples on the light. And we have to hit the render button every time we, uh, we change um, a value uh, in order for the Sky Dome to update correctly. So the the live IPR will you will need to reset it every time you change something. And uh, to learn more about these these settings, we can use we can go to the uh, under the Arnold menu. Can click on the user guide, and this will open up the the help page. And if we go under environment. There is a physical sky page where it has a lot of information about the various options here. It has a lot of um, uh, tests to show uh, uh, what each uh, attribute will do when you change it. So this will definitely um, explain a lot of uh, a lot of these options here. And uh, then the last thing I want to uh, introduce here is um, I have two spheres one with pure refraction and one with uh, pure reflection. And you can see they're not picking up a, um, anything for the environment light. And also I want to add it to the background. And to do that, I'm going to switch to the out context. And if we select our Arnold render node, there is this environment uh, uh, slot here. And all we have to do is simply select the Arnold physical sky shader, the same one we're using for the environment light. And if we do that and hit render, we should see the physical sky in the background and we should see a reflection and it being refracted. And we're going to have a separate video to explain why uh, these two were, uh, were black before we put that, before we connect the physical sky shader in the environment. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye.